Holy cow, you guys. Look at this wrecked old plane. <laughs> and you'll never believe the rest of the crazy stuff I saw out here. Hey, Wonder Hussy here. People are always asking me if there's any ghost towns anywhere near Vegas. A lot of times photographers that want to hire me for a photo shoot think it would be cool to shoot in an old ghost town. Unfortunately, there really aren't any ghost towns left anywhere near Vegas because the development was so crazy back in the 2000s that they pretty much tore everything down and you have to drive at least two or three hours out into the desert to get to a real ghost town. But what we do have is this kind of funky little fake ghost town that's technically, I think, called Tichatacup, but a lot of people call it Nelson because it's near Nelson's Landing on Lake Mojave. And it's also known as the El Dorado Mine. I think if you Google it, it comes up as El Dorado Canyon Mine Tours or something like that. Anyways, Tichatacup, Nelson, El Dorado, whatever you want to call it, it's basically a fake ghost town only about 45 minutes from Vegas and it's a pretty fun place. I mean first off just look how beautiful this friggin canyon is. I mean what a great place to live and what a great way to make a living. I mean not only do they do tours of the mine, I think they do kayak rentals and they probably make a decent amount of money just off photographers because Seems like every time I come down here, there's at least a few photo shoots going on. Okay, so this is the kind of stuff Nelson or Tchattacup is known for. Rusted old trucks. And this one is a beaut. What do you guys think it is? What kind of car is that? I'll show you. It's a Chevrolet. See the USA in your Chevrolet. Remember that commercial? <laughs> what year is that thing even? Do you guys know? I would guess 30s, like, I don't know. I don't really know cars, but look, I think it was from Wyoming originally, because look at the beautiful rust on the door. It says Wyoming, but then again, it also says Chicago Motor Company, so I don't think there's a Chicago in Wyoming last time I checked. Wow, look at this rusted old panel van, bread van. I'm not even sure what you would call that. What is that, a metro? You guys ever hear about a metro? I mean, where does this guy even find this stuff? Oh, look, it's an international. Those are collector items. People go nuts for those internationals. Look at this, an international van. It looks, like it, it looks like it was actually a plumbing van at one time, because look at the guy on the side. He's got a wrench. Wow. Let's see if we can look inside it. Oh, upholstery in the driver's seat's still pretty good. Oh, look, this is kind of like a little dugout cabin. I mean, the front of it's made out of wood here, but you can see that it goes back into the side of the mountain and it's rock. Holy crike. I wish we could get inside these things, but I think they're all locked, unfortunately. Oh, oh I got all excited for a minute, but see that? That's locked and they don't want us to go in. So we'll just look through the window. Wow. I sure hope you guys can see this. It really is a dugout cabin. Oh, wait, look. The back entrance is open. <laughs> Let's go inside. Hey, yikes. Spooky. Oh, so this is that window we were looking that we saw. See, you go through the window and now you can see back at the door where we just were. How friggin' cool is this, you guys? And look at the wall of it. Oops, sorry about the focus. I don't know if you can see that, but it's almost like a, like a wine cave or something the way they built it. And then this little room that we're in was clearly some kind of like a work area, I guess it's not finished or anything. Just uh, some rough timbers for the roof. And then this mysterious chest here. What could be in here? Oh, just a rotted out old chest. But this is really a cool construction, man. I could live in a cabin like this. I mean, I'll go look in here one last time. It's rough, man. I mean, it's not finished, but I don't know. It's also really small, but if you put a little wood-fired stove in the corner, it could be cozy, I guess. I mean, I could be pretty cozy, but then I'm not all that high maintenance, I guess, when it comes to dwellings. Wow, look at this old building. I think somebody might actually live in this one because 
You can see there's that sign on the left that says no trespassing. And it looks like it's pretty well restored. There's glass in the windows. But what a cool old building. I'd love to live out here in a building like this. It'd be so cool. Look, here's another one that says no trespassing private property. It has a number 14 by the door. I think, I guess the people who own this actually live in these cabins. How friggin' cool would that be if that was your cabin? I know it's not much to look at, just corrugated tin, but look how cool this little bench is on the front porch. This little chairs, that little Coke machine. Holy moly, I would totally love fixing up a little cabin like that. It's so cute. Okay, cool, look at this little Dodge school bus. Now this bus looks like some hippies were living in it at one point because there's like lace curtains in the windows. I know I say this in a lot of my videos and people probably think I'm nuts, but look how beautiful this rust is, especially on this bus. Blue, yellow, orange, kind of brownish. So pretty, and even the patterns that it blistered in are kind of cool. Yes, I was an art major. <laughs> oh look, one of the windows is actually open. Okay, I can't see because I'm a little short, but I'm gonna hold the phone up, maybe you guys can see. Oh wow, I can kind of see. It looks like it was actually pretty cozy to live in. And these <laughs> lace curtains are a really nice touch. Now look at this old beast. It's an old Cadillac. And what's really cool about this car is it's one of those old 50s caddies that has uh, fins on the back. Remember those really cool fins they used to do? But then check this out. What? <laughs> Even the teardrop trailer has fins. How friggin' cool is this? <laughs> Love it. Wow, now that's what you call a DIY trailer. <laughs> Made out of wood and corrugated tin. Oh man, I don't know. I mean, it's locked, but I can't tell if it's the kind of lock that's meant to stay locked or if it's okay to look in. Oh, better to ask forgiveness than permission. Oh my God, look how nice it is inside. This would be a really cozy trailer to camp in. Oh, you can see on the back there, there's even a little two cabinets for storage. Oh wow, somebody really did a nice job with this. Well, gas pump, dang. Now it's back in the day. Anybody ever get gas from a pump like this? Okay, well, it was obviously kind of old because 29 cents per half gallon was at like 58 cents a gallon. But it looks like, I don't know, it was in use fairly recently because that's an octane rating. Wow, oh, look at this. <laughs> Oktoberfest 71, La Crosse, Wisconsin. Anybody go to that? <laughs> look at this old quad, or uh, not quad. Ah, uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh man, it's got a saddle on it. That is super fly. This is exactly what I need to go racing around the desert. <laughs> look, there's another one of those international vans. And then look up here. It says, stop, keep out, keep out. They're serious about that because I think that's where the mine is and that's where they do their mining tours from. I need to sign up for one of those tours one of these days. I've always wanted to do it. You can see they have all kind of mining equipment back there. They probably show you all that stuff if you take the tour. Super cool. Like I said, I think you can Google them online. It's like eldoradocanyonminetours.com. I'll figure out the link and I'll post it in the description. This truck here kind of reminds me of Mater. Wasn't that his name from Cars? That old busted up truck that was like Jeff Foxworthy's voice or something. And it kind of looks like the set of cars here. Look at that. Doesn't that look like the old rusty old service station where they all lived? Like just a bunch of old signs, old rusty tailgate. I mean, this guy just collects everything and then puts it out for you to play with and do photos. I mean, it's really an amazing opportunity here. I could walk around here for probably a week and not see everything. Look at this old Studebaker sign. That is cool. Wow. This really cool old 7-Up cooler. Now it's just full of old kerosene lanterns. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Holy cow, look at this. It's like a dune buggy Baja blaster. A little souped up beetle. I wonder why the roof is so low though. It looks like it'd be really hard to get in and you wouldn't even be able to sit up right. Maybe they do that to make it more aerodynamic or something. <laughs> look at the engine on the back. <laughs> Tear up some dunes. <laughs> I'm gonna win me the Baja 500. 
Wouldn't that be cool if this little old busted beetle won the Baja 500? <laughs> I mean, there are so many old cars here. I don't even know if I'll have time to shoot all of them. What do you guys think this was? I don't recognize the logo. Let's see if it says on the front. Pardon me, there's this creosote bush. No, it doesn't say on the front what it was. Let's look at the steering wheel, maybe. Oh, wait, what steering wheel? <laughs> Whoops. Boy, I am stumped. Oh, there's one more place we can look. The bumper. Let's see if it has any clues on the bumper. Oh, look. Willies. Holy crike. That's one of them old Willies. Well, Jeeps, I guess. It's more like a Jeep. It's like a Willies station wagon. A Willies Woody. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. A Willies Woody. Okay, here's some more old busted trucks that's like a GMC here's another international but this one's a bus boy I bet that thing is a friggin tank <laughs> survive the apocalypse in that thing I mean if you really want to be a prepper this is the kind of rig you want to get right an international school bus unfortunately it's locked up tighter than a you know what but I don't know if you can see anything in there doesn't look like they're prepping for too bad of a doomsday here's an old I don't know Fluid drive, like a Buick or something, Studebaker. Oh, Chrysler, not Chrysler represented here. It was a Chrysler Royal. Anybody here ever drive one of those? Oh, and by the way, look inside. Well, first of all, look how cool the cracks on this glass are. It's, I don't know what the heck happened to them, but it's really interesting what happened over the years. And then, or maybe it's glue. Inside, look how thick the upholstery was in those days. It was a comfortable ride, probably to make up for the fact that the shocks and the suspension sucked. <laughs> okay, now, there's just so many cool vehicles here. I don't know where to start, but hey, here's a good place to start. Look at this friggin' bus. Okay, I know I said that international bus was a doomsday mobile. I think this might be a little bit more of a doomsday mobile. <laughs> Holy cannoli. Whoever <laughs> kitted this thing out is not playing around <laughs> yikes holy crack who even came up with this idea this thing this is my favorite vehicle that i've seen here unfortunately it says stay out so we can't climb in there but look it even has a stove pipe it's a wood stove in the back dang okay look how huge this thing is i mean these freaking tires <laughs> almost come up to my shoulder I don't know how I'd even get in this thing. I guess there's probably a ladder or something on the back. Let's see. Oh, no ladder. Oh, but you can kind of see up inside it. Hold on. Okay, dang. I don't know if you can really see that well in there, but you can see it's like a two-level living space up in there. They've got a staircase going up to like a loft. And there's like some little storage cabinets, like a kitchen area. I think it's sort of done up like an RV in there. And then look underneath. You can see some white porcelain there. Um, maybe there was even a toilet or something or a shower. Maybe that was a shower basin back in the day. Who knows? Unfortunately, it says keep out so we can't go snoop around. Okay, and then how about this rig? Sorry about the sun. It's kind of right behind it, but holy cannoli. It's like a double-decker <laughs> bus of some sort. It's like they welded the top of one bus onto another van. It made like a twofer. Oh, look, it's open. We can go inside this one. Check it out. I know I said there's rattlesnakes here and I should be wearing boots, but... Oh, wow, look. It's just empty. It's gutted. It's full of potential. This bus is full of potential for your growing family. It's got an open concept kitchen and plenty of room for expansion. The schools are great and the property taxes are low. This has been another episode of HGTV's Remodel My Bus. <laughs> Some cool old sedans. And then check this out, you guys. I think this might be my new favorite car here. <laughs> it's one of those really cool old time VW vans with a crow's nest made out of a VW Beetle. Look how seamless that is. They did a great job. <laughs> Holy wow. Well, looks like some hippies were to blame for this one for sure. Wow, this thing is amazing. And you wanna know what the most amazing thing about it is? <laughs> Wait till you see this. It's a trailer. <laughs> you could tow it. Look, let's see inside. The window's open. Oh, wow. It's, it's a minimalist build, but 
You can see they have a platform laid out here that you can sleep on, and then there's a little thing in the back. Could be another bed. And then there's a chair, inexplicably, because, you know, it's just a trailer. All the steering wheel and everything's going on the controls. Wow, that thing has potential too, for sure. I mean, I bet this bus has been to quite a few Grateful Dead concerts. That's my guess. And then this bus in front almost looks like it's towing it, but it's not really. It's just the way they have them parked. So freaking cool. Okay, this must be like V-Dub Alley because he's got all his VWs parked over here. Look at these old Beatles. I love these old Beatles because it reminds me of being a kid. My mom had a couple Beatles and we had some issues. Like I remember one time we were driving and the freaking engine fell out, like just rotted through the floor. It was pretty scary, but look how, look at this one. <laughs> Somebody's got a sense of humor there. Look, Porsche hubcaps on a VW. Oh, oh my God, look at this thing. It's like somebody took a, I don't know, one, two, three buses? Or maybe it's just one bus and they welded panels <laughs> to make it look like three buses. It looks like one of those Russian dolls, you know? Like with a big doll and a medium doll and a little doll coming out. Or like a mama bear, baby bear kind of a deal. <laughs> Not a lot of windows on it, so I can't really see what's inside. But it looks like there's plenty of headroom, so... <laughs> it's probably pretty nice inside. <laughs> okay, here's another old bus we could check out. Looks like this one, maybe they were in the process of restoring it or retrofitting it to be a living space, like an RV. Because look, it's all carpeted. And there's even this kind of like bed or sofa thing with storage underneath it. Uh, it's pretty swanky. Look at those little pull handles. <laughs> And then, oh wow, look, there's even a whole kitchen. And that's a full-size kitchen with a double sink and everything. Now, I'm not sure what that platform is supposed to be for. But it looks like there was even a whole, well, this was probably like a master bedroom back here. Lots of natural light. There's even a little vanity mirror up there. <laughs> and then look here, this was like... I guess the old controls, superior coaches. Look, that's where you did all the controls for the windshield wipers and the air conditioner. I mean, this thing even had air conditioning. <laughs> Pretty swanky back then, but mm, look at her now. <laughs> okay, now here's another doozy. Look at this old Ford. Love how they used to put the spare tire on the side like that. So cool. And then towing this awesome old Kind of like a canned ham, old school trailer. Let's look in the window. It says keep out, but we can peek in. Oh, wow, yeah, look. Full kitchen set up, even had a refrigerator. It looks like there might have even been a shower back there. Plenty of windows. Needs new curtains and maybe some wallpaper or something like that. But, I mean, the exterior is in pretty good shape. Just polish it up a little bit and it would shine like new. Or even better, put like some kind of crazy paint job. Okay, here we're coming up on one of the most famous things at to Chattaca or Nelson, and that is this busted up old crashed Navy airplane. I swear every photographer who comes out here shoots a model by this thing. It says stay off, you're not supposed to climb on it, but I've seen plenty of chicks in bikinis posing on it. So people don't always listen to that, I guess. But there's another crashed old plane out here too, but that one's not quite as intact. This one here though, I mean, wow, the nose is missing, but the wings are still here. Most of the cockpit's still there. All the paint still looks pretty good. That's pretty cool. I mean, I guess I can see why people like shooting pictures on it. I mean, look inside the fuselage. Wow. I mean, this is a pretty cool wrecked plane, but if you're really into crashed airplanes, you should check out the video I made when I was out in Death Valley. I hiked to an old SA-16 Albatross, and that was a really cool hike, and that's a really cool plane crash. This one's cool too, though. You know, go Navy. I mean, it does make a cool backdrop for chicks in evening gowns, I suppose. What do I know? <laughs> okay, now let's go inside this giant old wooden barn and take a look at all the crazy crap that they have in here because I've been in here before and if it's still the same then it is full of crazy old junk. <laughs> yep, looks like it's still pretty much the same. Still jam-packed full of crazy junk. It kind of reminds me of like 
my grandma's attic or my grandpa's garage or something. Look at this old jukebox. Whoa, that is super cool. 33 and a third records. Wow. Hank Williams. And then look at all this just old, like where do they get all this old junk? All these old lockers. <laughs> look at this old traffic signal. And then look up here. Oh, wow, look, all these old outboard motors all lined up in a row. That's pretty cool. Almost looks like an art installation. And then this old desk. <laughs> a cluttered desk is a sign of a cluttered mind. Remember that old saying? I mean, talk about clutter. We got a kerosene lantern, an old bone. <laughs> all right, now let's go upstairs. I think uh, there's more, I'm sure there's more crazy old crap upstairs, so... Just to see what's up here, up this creepy old wooden staircase. And guess what? It looks like there's more crazy old junk up here. Wow. I mean, this thing is three stories tall. I don't think they let you go up to the third floor, but we can walk around here and see the stuff that they have up here, like this amazing old wood-burning stove. Germer Stove Company, Erie, Pennsylvania. Radiant home. Hmm, nice. And then check this out. Quick bake oven. <laughs> kind of reminds me of like an easy bake oven for kids, but I think this one might be meant for camping or something because look, there's like heating elements in it, so it really worked, but I don't know. Quick bake. You guys ever have one? Oh, look, here's a weird old kind of living room setup. <sighs> Go check that out. I mean, it looks like they have a tableau set up like a, I don't know, 70s living room or... Well, I don't know. It looks older than the 70s. Because look at this television. <laughs> I mean, look at the size of the friggin' cabinet for the tube. <laughs> Back in the day, an old Hoffman. Anybody watch a Hoffman? <laughs> oh, there's never anything on anyways. I don't watch much television because for me, if I, especially if I lived out here, I'd rather just <laughs> stare out the friggin' window. I mean, look at this view. This is better than anything that could be on television. You can kind of see Lake Mojave way in the distance, and then all their crazy old cars and trucks and stuff that they have. You know, there's a little airplane off in the distance. You could just sit up here and kind of survey your whole domain and look at all your fun toys. <laughs> From your old military trucks, all the way to your little jet skis. Okay, let's see what's inside this old cabin here. Old corrugated tin shack. Doesn't look like much on the outside, but... Hmm, on the inside, not, it's like a trap door with stairs going down into a basement. And then there's a, oh, look at the old miner passed out on the bed, probably, <laughs> probably drank too much whiskey. <laughs> but I guess this was like, this is supposed to be like a little old miner's cabin with all his dishes and his supplies and stuff. And then there's this crazy trap door hidden in the floor with a staircase going down to I guess maybe that was his gold mine like maybe he had this crazy gold mine he didn't want anyone to know about it so he built a cabin on top of the mine shaft so no one would ever know about it or be able to dig into it and then look here in the crawl space probably where he hid all his gold and all his other playboys or valuable stuff whatever it was well I guess they didn't have playboys back then but these are all national geographics anyways I don't think they had those back then either but Okay, here's the main store building where you're supposed to go in here if you get here and you want to do a photo shoot or even if you just want to poke around, you're supposed to go in here first and sign a waiver about the whole rattlesnake thing. Like if you step on a snake, it's your own fault kind of a deal. And then you can buy sodas and stuff in there and they have uh, restrooms in there too if you need to use the restroom. But I mean, if you ask me, why would you go in there to use a boring old indoor plumbing type restroom when you could just stay out here and go in <laughs> this awesome little bathroom that they have set up. I mean, look at this. Look at the wash basin outside, paper towels. Look, even a little mirror, check your reflection, and then look. <laughs> I mean, it's tiled and it's an actual plumb toilet, so nothing to be scared of. <laughs> And they also have this really cool, like, outdoor barbecue area. I guess if you want to have, like, parties here, maybe... I guess we can rent it out. That's pretty cool. Okay, this has to be one of the oldest vehicles out here. I mean, look at this thing. What do you think that is? Like, a old Model T? Or maybe it's an old-time gas truck. They have it set up with a gas tank on the back going up to this, like, gas tower. Only they have a beer sign on it. Like, it's a beer truck. <laughs> 
Now, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> it sounds like something out of Homer Simpson's most fevered imaginings. Oh, hey, look, in the distance there, you can see there's a um, some photographers doing a photo, chick, photo shoot of that chick in the red evening gown. <laughs> How much you want to bet that they're going to go over to that airplane next and take a picture of her standing by it? Mm, I think that would be good money. I'll take that bet. Check out this little cabin. Look at the front porch. This is private, too. I guess somebody lives here. Darn it. This is a sweet setup out here. They got a fresh candy machine. Look at that. Oh, wow. Back in those days, candy was only 15 cents. Oh, look. Back when a Coke was a Coke. Hmm, wonder what's in this old cabin. I almost walked right by it because it didn't look like there was anything interesting, but then, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Looks like kind of a purr from his face, but then you look at his shoes and you see he's all business. Them cleats are not playing around. Oh, wow, look at this weird kind of archway. Maybe they do weddings here. I mean, honestly, it would be a friggin' beautiful place to get married because look at your friggin' background. Oh my God, I know I keep saying this, but this canyon, it's been a couple years since I've been out here and I forgot how friggin' beautiful it was. Of course, it helps that it's all weird and overcast today. It makes the light nice. And then the sun just makes these choyas all fuzzy and cute looking. But trust me, they are not fuzzy or cute. They will beep you up. And I should know, I've been beeped up by them a few times on photo shoots. Okay, wow, look at this giant building. There's a bunch of folding chairs stacked up. I guess that's probably because they do rent this place out for weddings, which is really cool. I mean, I'm not the marrying type, or I always say I'm not the marrying type, but if I were to get married, this would be a really cool place to do it. I mean, you have that really cool archway to do the actual ceremony in front of it, and then you have that barbecue area back over there where you could have the reception. Look, there's another VW back here. VW is everywhere, it's infested. Oh, you guys, I feel like I don't have enough time to look around at all the things I want to because unfortunately I have to go back into town and work out and then go to a photo shoot. But I think we've gone in every building here and checked out just about every car. So I feel like I did a pretty thorough job. Look at this old bus, Passaic Township High School. Where's that? Anybody know? Sounds back east to Passaic. Look at this, that was like the old time molester mobile. All blacked out, no windows, yikes. Okay, up here, oh, there's another Mater tap truck. And look at how many colors this truck has been over the years. Oh, wow, if anybody ever asks me what my favorite color is, I'm gonna say that. And by that, I mean all of it. <laughs> look how freaking cool, it's like a, let me turn the camera to the side. It's like a impressionist painting. You could hang that right there, take a screenshot, print it out, and then hang it on your wall. <laughs> okay, I'll stop talking about arty stuff now. Hey, look, this is the last building. I made it. I was able to do the whole town in one hour, which is what I budgeted for myself. It's another old, beautiful old gas pump. And look at this garage in here. Look, it's all tricked up like an actual working garage. Like, oh, they're sitting in here working on this old Chevy or whatever it is. <laughs> I don't know if that is a Chevy. I think so. But then they have it set, like it's almost photo ready. Like you just, all you have to do is put your mechanic pinup outfit on and shoot away. Oh, I'm here in the garage. Look at all them hubcaps. <laughs> so cool. Here's the front of the old <laughs> service station. Oh, it was a Chevron gas station. Oh, and here's the front of that car that I thought was a Chevy. I don't know, you tell me. Oh, here it says on the side. Oh, it's a Cadillac. Uh, I should have known from that V. Okay, you guys, I finally found one car here that is totally not cool at all. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. I mean, I'm not a car person, but I guess if you're a car person, that's pretty cool. I don't know, oh, Lamborghini, huh? I don't know, call me crazy, but I would much rather have a rig like this than a rig like that. Okay, wow, you guys, this place was way cooler than I remembered it being. I'll be honest, when I came out here, I was kind of like, eh, Nelson, fake ghost town. But like I said, it's been a couple years since I was out here, and this place is really cool. And it's only 45 minutes from the strip, so if you're into old cars and old timey mining history and mining relics, I definitely recommend coming out here. 
I mean, I have to say that this is one of my top picks for interesting attractions within one hour of Vegas. I give it 10 thumbs up.